In this session, we are going to learn about two very interesting and at the same time very confusing concepts of machine learning and they are parameters and hyperparameters. A general machine learning problem is posed as a problem where we are given a large data set and we want to discover some patterns in that large data set or make some predictions based on that large data set or make some business decision and the way to solve these problems is to identify a machine learning model and train that machine learning model using our large data set and once the machine learning model is trained we can discover patterns make predictions or make business decisions based on either new input or based on the given data set but when we talk about selecting a machine learning model it is not as simple as it sounds because there is a large number of model types that is available to choose from and it's not just the large number of model types even within a particular model say for example if we select the neural network there are infinitely many model architectures that we can choose from and different model architectures of neural network is different number of layers and different number of nodes in each of the layer. So for example here I have given some sample neural network architectures that have three input nodes and one output node and they have different number of layers or different number of nodes in the hidden layers. Now once we finalize our model type and the model architecture then we have to decide the training or learning algorithm related parameters like learning rate, batch size that is whether we are going to use all the data at once for training or we are going to divide our data set into smaller batches and use one batch at a time for training our model or we can use a single data point at a time to train our model and we also have to decide number of epochs that is how many rounds of training we have to perform for our network. Now, once all these parameters are decided then we come to training and before the training starts the model parameters that is the weights and biases in our neural network are assigned random values. For example in this neural network each link has a weight and bias associated with it and we assign random values to these weights and biases before the training starts and during training the best values of these weights and biases are learned by our model. So in our machine learning task there are several types of parameters and only few of them are learned during the training and these are the model parameters and in the case of neural networks these are the weights and biases of our links and all other parameters like model type, model architecture, learning and training related parameters are decided before the training starts and these parameters are not affected by the training. Rather these parameters affect speed and quality of our training process. So in a sense these parameters are over, beyond or above our training process and if we ask Google what do we call a thing which is over, beyond or above something then the prefix for that is hyper and that is the reason that these parameters are called hyperparameters and the parameters which are learnt or updated during the training are simply called parameters. So the best values of parameters are determined using training process then how do we determine the best values of hyperparameters and as it turns out there is no efficient algorithm to select optimal or best values of hyperparameters. So the optimal values of hyperparameters are determined using a trial and error process by adjusting or adapting their values for a particular machine learning task and if we again ask Google what is the name for adjusting or adapting something to a particular purpose or situation then Google says it is tuning and therefore this trial and error process 
of determining values of hyperparameters is called hyperparameter tuning. In a way, the process of hyperparameter tuning is similar to tuning a guitar where we adjust the tension in a string by slightly turning the knob until we get the correct note. And in the case of hyperparameter tuning, one of the ways is to train several models with different values of hyperparameters and to select the hyperparameters that give us best result on validation set. That is, they give minimum error for validation set.